The reasons people use crystal meth are varied and diverse, uh, but a very common thread through why gay men use it is for sex uh, with one another. It creates uh, an environment in which the inhibitions and anxieties we have around our own sex lives and uh, HIV uh, can be put to the side. And in those spaces, we say yes to things we've perhaps always wanted to, but never dared to. It's also something we need to respect because it's something that can turn on its head very easily. And that that uh, that compulsion, that pulling that the drug has, I mean, I. I think that meth has a, a very unique ability to, to make you want to have more and to want to recreate what you've experienced with it, which um, we need to respect and, and have a very healthy approach to. Because Crystal can help you unlock some of those desires, it's important to always keep at the back of our minds that we might be reaching a new physical limit that we'd never encountered before and we can go right past it and actually do some damage to ourselves. So sex you have um, on meth is incredibly intense and, and intimate and more powerful and more alive and more full and, and, and um, extraordinary than often you've had before. The problem with that then can be that sex without drugs can seem very plain and very, um, very vanilla. And it's a problem for um, some people that have had a very extensive and very heavy meth and sex history, that they find the idea of sex without meth to be completely uninteresting. When planning to party, sometimes you can be substance affected and things can get a little bit out of control. It's really important to have some strategies before going in. Um, something that I've used in the past is having a safe word. Sometimes you can get into an environment where there might be numerous people involved in sex and you might all of a sudden just have that change of internal feeling and you might think to yourself there's something not going on right here that I'm comfortable with. A safe word is really important. That means that we have to be able to trust the person that we're with uh, for them to kind of look out for us and for, to look out for each other uh, about when we want to stop or might need to stop. It's important not only to talk about boundaries but to talk about people's sexual health status. Sometimes this can fall by the wayside when we're substance affected, so it's really, really important at the beginning to have an idea of the people that you're engaging with. And I think we need to be able to have a conversation in our community about this um, and to talk about things like intimacy and relationships and, um, you know, affection and love and, and, and talk about the, you know, it's, a, it's about respecting the fact that, that meth, this drug, gives us this wonderful intimacy, but in fact it's a drug-created intimacy.